Hi, this is Mark Hockman of PC World, and in this video we're going to take a very quick look at the Intel Z GPU, specifically the ZLP variant found within Intel's upcoming processor, Tiger Lake. These two slides from Intel's Architecture Day show off the execution units within the ZLP and show a somewhat abstract comparison in voltage and frequency between it and the Gen 11 GPUs. See our story for more. Remember, this is the integrated portion of the Z GPU. Intel also plans the ZHPG for high-performance gaming, but it'll ship this part in 2021, and we know little about it. It will support hardware ray tracing, though. In the rest of this video, we'll see some early ZLP gameplay provided by Intel, primarily running in 1080p within a thin and light Tiger Lake PC. We'll see some of its ability to unlock gameplay at higher graphical settings, then see what it can do when asked to perform some AI-specific tasks. Enjoy! The XELP architecture represents a very significant step forward in graphics computing in thin and light mobile form factors. Enhanced performance and power efficiency in XE enable much broader 1080p gameplay and is supported across a wide range of games. From multiplayer battle royale to racing series, to strategy action role-playing, to first-person shooters, and so many more. With XE, you can expect outstanding performance across a breadth of games, including previously unachievable gameplay on some AAA titles in this form factor. How does XE improve gaming? First, power efficiency. Let's look at Battlefield 1 playing on a 25 watt Gen 11 platform. Now with XE graphics on a 15 watt platform. Here, side by side, you can see the visual experience is similar, but XE performance enhancements enable this gameplay at much lower power. For gamers, frame rate is critical. Again, Here's Battlefield 1 on both Gen 11 and XE graphics at close to the same power. The increased frame rate achievable with XE results in a much better viewing experience. Let's slow down playback to 10% speed and really show this effect. Look at the tracks of the tank and how smooth the rolling action is on XE. Watch as we drive into the building and the pieces start to fall. XE generates many more frames per second. For games playable on Gen 11 graphics at low quality settings, how does XE enhance that experience? Let's play grid on Gen 11 and set quality to low. We see smooth gameplay at good frame rates. Now let's switch to XE and set quality to high. This also results in smooth gameplay at good frame rates, but now at much higher quality. In these still shots, as we swipe from Gen 11 to XE, it's clear that XE enables a higher quality gaming experience. Just look at the details of the palm leaves on the tree shadows, as well as the improved sharpness of the car and many more people in the crowd. Here's a practical application and results of optimizing AI inferencing on XELP. Topaz Labs created a photo enlarging application called Gigapixel AI. This application uses deep learning that can imagine new details in your upscaled images. This produces stunning results that were simply not possible before the use of AI. However, these methods are incredibly math intensive requiring trillions of calculations to upscale even a single image, like in this two times preview. Let's start processing the photo set. Topaz Labs worked with Intel to optimize their AI acceleration, and they did this by integrating the OpenVINO toolkit. OpenVINO leverages the inherent acceleration of INT8 inferencing, utilizing the DLBoost DP4A instructions in the new XELP graphics. Here, you can see the performance improvement over three generations of Intel graphics. 
it is exponentially faster on Exe, already completing the batch processing, while Gen 11 is partway through and the older 9th Gen is still just starting. AI changes our expectations of what our technology products do for us. Intel continues to innovate both in AI hardware and software architectures to meet this growing demand.